Do you have mail? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, I had my daughter hold the phone real quick because I wanted you guys to see what I'm going to be doing. Sorry about my lighting. I had to quick go grab my daughter. I just wanted to show you guys what you're going to do with the yellow onion in your blender, in your whatever blender, whatever you have at home. My blender is a little blender, like I said, so I work with what I got here. This is what it should look like. And then you're also going to add in some minced garlic. The same minced garlic that I use. Um, you can actually use whatever garlic you choose to use. I like this because it's already prepped, ready. It's dipped in that beautiful, nice um, wetness to it from that uh, sauce of the garlic. So I like that a lot. All right. So <laughs> I just wanted to quick show you this. Okay, so you're just going to add like, like two big spoons of this right in there. Delicious. And... What you're going to do, remember, you always got to have some kind of water in these things. Well, you know, because I use this for everything. My juicer is everything. Okay. So, let's go over here. Oops, sorry, baby. And what we're going to do is go ahead and stick it in here. Let me move this out the way. All right. Okay, you got that there? Okay. That's all you're going to do. Get it all down into a nice watered down all in together okay and it's just gonna look like that come over here baby okay okay and that's what it should look like it's real easy no chopping up and it goes right into that spaghetti sauce super delicious so like I said cooking with love is always good whether you take your time whether you make it quick as long as you cook with love, that's all that matters. That goes right in there. So you want to go ahead and just get that. The meat, everything's already in there. And this is pretty much all the ingredients you want to add in to there. Okay, and this, as you see, the mushrooms are still marinating in that lovely sauce, which I'm keeping separate, like I said. Okay, now, last but least, we do the mother. Okay, the mother, two tablespoons of this. So that's one, and this just cleans your meat. You know, cleans your meat, that's what I, why I use it. I, I like to use this one, as I said before. So we're doing sprinkles and dashes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is that McCormick, the, the smokehouse maple. And we're just doing a couple sprinkles, okay? Perfect, just keep it right there, baby. We are adding the salsa packet, just one, just one right in there. Okay, like I said, I like to make things my own at home, and I like to write them down. And this is the perfect seasoning, okay? This is the salsa, a couple sprinkles, sprinkles of that. And then last but least, the last two things we have to put in is the vara of the garlic parsley and also the kumrum. And this is organic. I like this one. All right, so we're gonna just again, you're just gonna add sprinkles. A little bit of sprinkles. And you'd be surprised how, how tasty, how absolutely tasty this is. Okay, and this is that, um, this is the garlic parsley, okay? And we already have garlic in there, but I like this because it's a good blend. Okay, so coming up next, I'm gonna be just chopping up those, um, the cucumbers into dices with that yum yum sauce that we had if you checked my last video when I did the um, the Japanese dish okay and um, we're doing a simple salt and pepper on the side with the spaghetti so don't miss it for the final plating and we love you and we'll be right back <laughs> on this Saturday <laughs> 